Hi, I'm Dan Larson, and this is Marvel Legends Walmart exclusive Captain America Civil War Falcon in four minutes or less. We did it! We we did it! All right. we, we did it. From the 2016 hit summer blockbuster film Captain America Civil War comes the first Marvel Legends figure of Falcon as portrayed by Anthony Mackie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Bad news, it is an exclusive, so there's only one store you can find him at. Good news, that store is Walmart, so there's like 6,500 locations. And even more importantly, along with Spider-Gwen, Silk, and Movie Scarlet Witch, this is the fourth figure released this year that was featured in our Top 10 Most Wanted Marvel Legends Volume 1 list back in June of 2015. I figure the best we can hit with that list is 600, and that's if we luck out and they surprise us with a Thor, Ragnarok, Idris, Elba, Heimdall, and a Spider-Ham down the road somewhere. Finish run. Falcon is a 6-inch figure made of entirely new parts, which is probably why Hasbro is so reluctant to make figures from the movies in the first place. It's harder to get any reuse out of the sculpts. So it's nice to see that they went all out with this one, with a lot of intricate details on Falcon's suit, jetpack, and wings. A bit more paint application would have really pronounced those details, but we, as collectors, have been conditioned to expect less out of Marvel Legends, so this one actually feels like a step up from most of the product that has been churned out in recent years. I really don't want to nitpick anything about this figure because I want to encourage the inclusion of more of the movie characters that aren't Captain America or Iron Man. I want to celebrate this figure. But if you'll allow me one small indulgence, I really wish they could have just hit the little spot of gold on the goggles with the Y-shaped beak right on his forehead. It's there in the sculpt, it's very subtle, barely even raised, but it's there. It's such a small detail, even in the film itself, but it's an important one that calls back to the earliest versions of Falcon's costume in the comics and action figures. I know the paint machines aren't great with little details like that, so I may just have to take this one on myself with the tiniest brush I can find and barely a whisper of gold paint. Falcon comes with his wings, and it doesn't look like they scaled them down at all, as so often happens with winged action figure characters. I don't know what the exact dimensions of his extended wings are supposed to be, so I'm really just eyeballing it. His jetpack has four holes on the back where the pegs attach, fitting them securely but not allowing them any range of movement. If you're careful, you can just use two of the pegs to pivot them a little, but the two smaller pegs feel like they want to break off, so watch yourself. Falcon also comes with his formerly actual bird that he shares a psychic bond with, now remote piloted drone Red Wing, as well as an inactive clip-in version that fits in his jetpack. The accessories give you both wings extended and wings collapsed looks, but no guns and no handles on the wings. So you can pose his arm like he's holding the handles, but there are no actual handles. And even though, unlike the recent Punisher figure, he has trigger fingers, he does not have his two little Uzi guns. I still have some trouble with the basic concept of his jetpack and wings thing. Not only that those wings could be that large, that strong, that light, and that flexible, not to mention bulletproof, but also that they collapse enough to fit into that space in his jetpack. That's some Transformers level mass compression we're talking about here. But I revel in the fact that the character is even included in the cinematic universe and that it's not a total visual laughing stock. And he's certainly a character that asks less of you as a viewer with respect to believability than a talking raccoon, a tree man, or a god who can fly and shoot lightning because of his magical hammer. If you don't have a place on your shelf for the cinematic interpretations of the Marvel Universe, then this figure is an easy pass. But if you're confident that Falcon is the next to wield Captain America's shield, then this is a must-have, so buy it if you see it, and if you see two, leave one for the next collector. Thanks for watching, please give this video a like, please subscribe and share, and let us know in the comments below if you're Team Bucky Cap or Team Falcon Cap. Personally, I can't see them handing the franchise over to either of those characters, but then I never thought we'd recover from the first Hulk or the second Fantastic Four movie, so maybe I'm not the guy to ask. Cut.